afternoon. Welcome parents, guardians, family members, and friends. Thank you for coming to Woodbridge Middle School's promotion ceremony for the class of 2023. A special welcome to Mr. Kendall Ali, our district's director of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And Ms. Susan Borden, member of the Board of Education. Thank you for being here today. At this time, I'd like to ask you to please silence all devices. During the ceremony, it is important for you to remain in your seats and out of the aisles at all times. We, want, we all want that priceless picture, but please do not take it at the cost of ruining someone else's. The promotion ceremony is being filmed by TV35, so please check the website for when the promotion will be aired. Thank you for your anticipated cooperation. Now, if you will, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by National Junior Honor Society co-president, Gianna Jerome Gonzalez. After the pledge, please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem, directed by Mr. McGuire. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please welcome our National Junior Honor Society co-presidents, Gianna Jerome Gonzalez and John Landy. Good afternoon, parents, guardians, family, friends, Dr. Lott, Mr. O'Halloran, Mr. Ali, Mrs. Borden, teachers, counselors, and Woodbridge Middle School's graduating class of 2023. My name is John Landy, and I am the co-president of the National Junior Honor Society. On behalf of my co-president, Gianna Jerome Gonzalez, I would like to welcome you all to Woodbridge Middle School's 112th annual promotion ceremony. Throughout these past three years, we have persevered through many obstacles and hardships. We began our middle school career as images of our ceiling fans, our little siblings screaming in the background and presenting our guinea pigs to the class. It was nice to finally meet everyone in person last year when we returned or more aptly arrived for the first time to school where we had to trade in our pajamas for actual clothes. Oh. 
As a class, we quickly excelled, especially in our musical and athletic endeavors, earning the superior ranking, which is the highest achievement at the High Note Festival, as well as winning championships in baseball, bowling, and volleyball. Truly, we have proven that we are Woodbridge Warriors. As warriors, we will conquer this next journey. Freshman year is approaching faster than many of us thought. Our collective path will diverge, with some of us attending vocational schools, private and parochial schools, or Warbridge High School. With all the memories created in that building, it's hard to come to the realization that these years changed us and the people around us. But change is inevitable, especially at this age. When we look into the mirror today, we are not the same people who started this journey in sixth grade. We cannot have grown without the influence and support of others. We would like to thank all of our parents and guardians who were our first teachers. To our teachers who have opened up our horizons to new experiences, thank you. And finally, congratulations to the class of 2023. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Kendall Ali, the Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Greetings, Woodbridge Middle School graduating class of 2023 faculty and families. I am honored to be standing before you today on this joyous occasion to celebrate the achievements of our wonderful eighth grade students. As you leave this school and embark on your next adventure, I want to remind you of one important thing. You have the power to change the world. Yes, each and every one of you has the ability to make a positive impact in this world, no matter how big or small. And it all starts with a simple phrase, be the change you want to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi, one of the greatest leaders of our time, once said those words and they still ring true today. It means that if you want to see something different in this world, you must take action and be the one to make that change. Maybe you dream of a world where there is no more hate no more poverty, or no more injustice. Or maybe you simply want to help out in your community or make someone smile. Whatever it is, know that you have the power to make it happen. But you might be wondering, how can I make a difference? I'm just one person. Well, let me tell you, one person can make a huge impact. You can start by volunteering your time, donating to a worthy cause, or simply being kind to one another. As you move forward from this day, I challenge you to think about what you want to see in this world and then take action to make it happen. Remember, you are never too young or too old to make a difference. In closing, I'd like all the graduates to turn to your right and look at all the people who helped make this day possible all the family members who woke you up so you wouldn't be late, all the staff members who helped you learn, and please give them a round of applause. You have worked hard to get to this point, and your future is bright. So go out there and be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you. Our guidance counselors, Mrs. Torella, Mrs. Valenti, and Mr. Masaccio, have the honor of presenting the James Moran Memorial Award, the Kevin O'Brien Memorial Award, and the Distinguished Warrior Award for overall academic achievement.
Good afternoon. I'd like to wish the eighth grade class much success. This year, I had the honor of being your school counselor. I got to know many of you. I wish you the best, much success on your journey, and always remember to be kind to one another. The Kevin O'Brien Memorial Award. Kevin O'Brien was a special education teacher at Woodbridge Middle School. Unfortunately, Mr. O'Brien had cancer and ultimately left us. We give this award in memory to a student who exhibits the same qualities he had. He was a wonderful man, friend, and teacher. He was kind, generous, hardworking, and funny. He always made people smile. People enjoyed being in his company. The student receiving this award look forward to their classes and the teachers really look forward to having this student. I know Kevin would be proud that this year's award goes to Jeremy Estepan. The next award is the James Moran Memorial Award. James Moran was a beloved teacher for many years at Woodbridge Middle School. He prided himself on good citizenship and instilled the importance of this to his students. Mr. Moran was a colonel in the Army and served his country for many years. The recipient of this year's James Moran Award also shows remarkable citizenship in and out of the classroom. This student is a hardworking, dedicated to volunteering. This student has been a role model and a wonderful asset to WMS. Congratulations, Isula Akomalafi. The next award is the overall award. This award goes to a student who has had outstanding academic achievement. The recipient of the overall achievement award is presented to a true inspiration who gives back and honors others. This student is a true humble and kind leader that others benefit from. This student has high honors with an average of A plus in every subject. Not only does this student excel academic, excuse me, academically, but artistically as well. This student participated in the High Note Festival in which WMS received the highest ranking superior. This student also received recognition as one of the recipients of the All State Honors Choir Award as co-president of our National Junior Honor Society and prominent member of Student Council, this student selflessly volunteered their time, was instrumental in planning and carrying out fundraising activities, and effectively communicating with the school community about events year-round. This student will be going to Middlesex County Edison Academic Magnet School in the fall. This student is the first in eight years, and I'm so very proud. Woodbridge Middle School is proud of this young man. Congratulations, John Land. Congratulations again to Asula, Jeremy, and John. Great job. This school year, 
This school year, we started a new tradition wherein the students voted on an inspirational staff member to give a few final words during their promotion ceremony. Please join me in welcoming English teacher, Mrs. Douglas. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, family members, board members, distinguished colleagues, and most importantly, this wonderful eighth grade class. I am both incredibly honored and touched to be given the opportunity to speak to you today. I spent the weekend contemplating what I would say to you. Should I be inspiring, warm, funny? But after all the back and forth, it really comes down to how incredibly proud I am of all of you and how much I'm going to miss you. Now, I didn't have the privilege to teach all of you but I have interacted with you all in some capacity, whether it was in the classroom, the hallways, during lunch, or otherwise, whether you were the shy, silent type, the outgoing one, the spunky child running through the halls, the ball player, the cheerleader, the dancer, the singer, the kid who could make everyone laugh, or the one with 54 bathroom check-ins every week. You have each had a meaningful impact on me. I began teaching eighth grade at Wood Middle School in 2019, and as passionate I am about teaching you eighth graders, the most difficult part is meeting all of you and then having to say goodbye. So let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Since you walked through the doors of WMS, you have attended 540 days of middle school, interacted with two principals, two nurses, three vice principals, 70 plus teachers, written countless journal responses or essays, and solved even more math problems than you thought possible. Those of you that had Mr. Maneri know what I'm talking about. Now, language arts may be serious business, but laughter has always been our trusty companion on the way. If you were one of my students, you know how much I love vocabulary. And many of you have taken the opportunity to teach me new vocabulary too. Therefore, I think it's important to level with you. Remember, during class is not the time to riz up. On God, you low-key aren't retaining anything the teachers are telling you. It's giving, I'll just fail this test vibes, and that is not mood. I'm not trying to be an op, so I'm not going to call any of you out, but you know who you are. No cap. As you move on to high school, I want you to remember that language is a gift. It has the power to inspire, to heal, to change the world. So use your words wisely. Speak up for what you believe in. Write with passion and purpose. And never undermine the impact your words can have. And before I leave you, some of your favorite teachers, my amazing colleagues, have some words of wisdom for you. Mr. Murphy asks that you take pride in your interests. Don't let the opinions of others get in the way or take away your love for anything. If it adds joy to your life, do it 
with your whole heart. Miss Nardoza says, remember Punnett Squares. Miss Racket reminds you not to get fresh on a Tuesday. And Mr. Malmstrom shared his three thoughts to live by. Number one, do not look to others or external sources for happiness. Happiness comes from within you and only you. Being kind to others is the easiest and best way to change the world, and everyone can do it at any time. And number three, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. The only thing you can control is your attitude. And finally, Mrs. Leastro reminds you to be true to yourself, be kind to others, and remember to have a little fun along the way. And so, my remarkable eighth graders, as you step into this next chapter of your academic journey, take the lessons that you've learned at Woodbridge Little and let them guide you. Remember to find joy in all that you do and express yourselves authentically. And never stop exploring the power of words. The world is waiting for you to make your mark, and I have no doubt that you will do so with brilliance and flair. And above all, make good choices. Congratulations, eighth grade class of 2023. Please join me in welcoming the principal of Woodbridge Middle School, Dr. Kayla Lott, who will address our graduating class. Greetings, everyone. It is with great pleasure that I give some final remarks to the Woodbridge Middle School class of 2023. There's a famous aphorism that goes, they say you never know what you have until it's gone. Do you remember three years ago? You started your middle school career learning from a computer. In seventh grade, you actually got to experience middle school in its entirety, and now you're graduating. In the short amount of time, you have truly made a difference. Not, not just for your fellow classmates, classmates not, not just for your teachers, teachers not, not just, just for me, me but the entire Warbridge Middle School community. community. Differences, differences such as my friend, friend Alan, Alan, where are you? Alan, Alan don't, don't be shy. shy. Alan, Alan, who is a great journalism student, student who not Alan only contributed to our school, school newspaper, but, but also to our, our local newspaper in the town. town. Great job, Alan. Alan. Or my friends, Nick and Tommy. Nick and Tommy participated in every single middle school sport this year and embodied the true meaning of sportsmanship and leadership at Woodbridge Middle School. Great job. Or my friend, Montserrat, who could often be seen tutoring people in the guidance office and is known as an upstander, not a bystander, when it comes to seeing someone being mistreated. Thank you, Montserrat. All of these qualities that you have exhibited has made Woodbridge Middle School a great place, and you are truly going to be missed. Now, the unfortunate thing is that I just got to meet you all this school year. My, My staff, staff had, had the, the opportunity, opportunity to know and watch you grow from when you were in sixth, sixth grade. grade. There's, There's another, another famous aphorism, and it goes, they, they may forget, forget what you said, said but they, they will, will never forget, forget how, you how you made them, them feel. When, when you, you walked up to your seat, seat there, was there was an envelope on your chair, chair and you were all instructed to not open it until it was time. Well, it's time. 
I'm going to give you a quick minute to read a special note from a Woodbridge Middle School faculty member that you made a lasting impression on. Thirty more, more seconds. seconds. I hope, I hope you can, you can all, all see, see how, how loved, loved you are and how much you are truly going, going to be missed. I'm going to miss a few people too. too. Like, like Kyle, Kyle, I'm going to miss your wild spirit. spirit. Jeremy, Jeremy, I'm going to miss your funny graphic tees. Tyler, I'm going to miss your random, random Jeopardy, Jeopardy questions, questions, your history facts, and your huggies. Aaliyah Delgado, I'm gonna miss you coming into the main office and saying hi, and then running when you see me because you know you don't have a cast. Asula and Jalil, I'm gonna miss your sweet, kind spirits. And Jake, I will forever miss your dance moves. He did not sit down for the entire eighth grade dance. Each of you have forever left an imprint on my heart and you will never be forgotten forgotten, excuse me. And now I have one final homework assignment for your middle school career. Here it is. My final aphorism is, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. This summer, I want you to imagine the kind of scholar, friend, and human you want to be when you enter high school. Really, I want you to write it down. Do you want to get straight A's? Do you want to become that star basketball player? Do you want to be the lead in that school play? Whatever it is, I want you to really think about it and really write it down on a piece of paper. And then I want you to go after it, attack it, become that goal. You can do anything you put your mind to. And I am so excited and cannot wait to see what you achieve. Congratulations to class of 2023. You will be missed. And now it is time to read the names. Jael Abru. Maya, Maya Acosta. Acosta. Asula, Asula Akomolafe. Omari Alequin. Angela Ali. Ali. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Alisa. Alisa. Yes. It's okay, it's okay. Angela Austin. Austin. Mary, Mary Anderson. Anderson. Benjamin, Benjamin Arias. Arias. Let's go, Ben. Elise, Elise Arnold. Arnold. Brianna, Brianna Alex Avezan. 
Jalen Baez. Nashley Baez. Brian Barino. Angel Batista Quezada. Avion Battle. Jonathan Bautista. Kyle Bell. Edwin Benitez. Kane Berger. Aiden Bohong. Hogan Boyd. Idris Brooks. Kaden Bubb. Caitlin Caldwell. Viviana Kamasena. Jaden Campos. Kyle Campos. John Dell Castillo. Giselle Castro. Taylor Chalua. Anthony Chufo. Terrell Clark. Jesus Colada. Destiny Colon. Matteo Mateo Correa. Brianna Cosme. Sophia Costa. Haley Covington. Jameer Crippen. Elacy Cruz. Genesis, Genesis Cruz. Cruz. Jalil, Jalil Cruz. Cruz. Jalian Cruz. Cruz. Alexa, Alexa Curry. Curry. Ava Cherniak. Ryan Chirwanka. Tyler Dockowitz. Yeah, let's go, Tyler. 
Sarah, Sarah DePinto. DePinto. Marcus De La Cruz. Let's go, Marcus. Aliyah Delgado. Michelle Halloran. I'm just gonna. Nicoletta Dio. Veronica Diaz. Jake DiNicola. Patrick Divini. Derek Ellis. Gary Engelbrecht. Jeremy Estepan. Ryan Fallon. Delilah Farrell Latanzio. Angie Fernandez. Milan Fils Amen. Liam Finnerty. Jonathan, Jonathan Fuertes Borges. Dylan Gates. Gianna Jerome Gonzalez. Jacob Gonzalez. Melissa Gonzalez. JC Gores. Thomas Grace. Gavin Galdrin. Emily Gutierrez. Braden Hammond. Bryce Hannon. Let's go, Bryce. Talid Howard. Destiny, Destiny Irizarry. Stay Jackson. Jackson. Alan Jimenez. Christopher Johnson. Jessica, Jessica Johnson. Johnson. Brody, Brody Kasha. Kasha. Thanks, John. By the way, family members and graduates, if I say your name wrong, I'm very sorry. OK, let's get this started. Savannah Katzoff.
Pika Khan. Pranav Krishnan. Catherine Lamb. Nate Langan. John Landy. Amir Little. Alex Liu. Zoe Luciano. Brianna Lujan. Nicholas Lukacek. Colby Malcolm. Samantha Maltel. Glorabelle Marte. Mariana Marte Sorel. Jordan Martin. Macy Mastrola. Quion McRae. Julianne McSorley. Sasha Mendonca. Jaden Mickens. Nicholas Milholm. Jake Miranda Flores. <laughs> Shakur Michner. John Carlos Misquis Rosas. Marwan Mohammed. Daniela Mojica. Simon Monsanto. Sierra Murphy. No guess. No guess. Chloe Nugaris. Thomas Oatman. Tamia Oishi. Joshua Ojeda Arredondo. Joshua Ortega. Manraj Panak. Frandi Paniagua. Rosangi Pena. Matsura Pereira Cheka.
Lucas Perez. Ethan Rebnicki. Marquellis Mikey Reyes. Nora Riggins. Marco Rivera. Emily Rosidas. Angelina Rodriguez. Anna, Anna Leah Rosales. Aiden Rose. Jaden Ruiz. Abdel Rahman Bito Sadek. Daryl Sanchez. Yusuf San Juan. Jaciel Santiago. Olivia Sawicka. Andrew Seguera. Yusuf Salim. Ethan Snyder. Gavin Snyder. Kimberly Kim Sosa. Isabella Summers. Hadi Syed. Jalil Taylor. Leah Tanio. Eliza Torres. Edward Torres. Gabriella Tortorella. Edward Velez. Tiago Villa. Trinity Wallace. David Wescovich. Aaliyah Williams. Jaylene Wilson. Melvin Witchy. Last but not least, Janaya Young. Congratulations, guys. For the last time as Warrior Nation, I now present the class of 2024. Lies, it's actually class of 2023. I lied. Even better. 
I love them so much, I kept them back a year. All right. <laughs> Families, we hope you are as proud of your child as we are. We wish each of you the best of luck as you continue on with your journey through school. Have a great day, guys. Congratulations again.